guys, it's me, Palkarin, and today I'll be playing not Nine Nor Lives. It's a point and click adventure. Uh, it looks very fun. I'm playing it for the Indie Game Collective in a showcase, again, as, as is my custom. Uh, Nine Nor Lives is a point and click uh, comedy noir adventure full of humor, crazy characters, and intriguing locations. Uh, solve challenging puzzles and answer the immor immortal question, how many things need to be leaked to solve a murder in this town? So let us get uh, started um, playing Nine Nor Lives. Done. Is that a fire cannon indoors? really isn't safe. Is someone there? Hello, am I yelling loudly enough for you? <laughs> oh, oh, much better, thank you. I just, ow, oh, what the? I think I just walked into a wall of spikes. Hey, uh, can we get the lights on in here? Look, it's, yeah, it's cute, it's fun. Thanks for this, but you know, time for the, some lights. Much better, thank you. Oh, hey, it was a cat kiss. Oh, neat. Ooh, oh, we still, we've still got the little mouse. Little mouse cursor, that's cute. All right. Spiky, huh? Holding down the fort against any potential invasion of balloon people. <laughs> Good cat kiss. There we go. Okay, so, okay, so I can... Link. It is literally covered in spines, <laughs> and the client didn't what? cough up for medical on this case. Anyway. Alright. What else is there? Look at bar. Where the oh. magic happens, or lack thereof. There's a little there's a little thing down here. Look at the oh we we can't okay. Time to sit and have a drink. Need to get this cease and desist delivered. Okay. Oh, is that what we're doing? Can we lick? Oh, we want to lick the bar. I want to lick the little. <laughs> it's cute. Lick the bar. Lick, 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 lick. People sit there. They they sit there with their booties, with their, <laughs> with their butts. The booties with their butts. I'm gonna I'm gonna need to lick your face now. Sure thing. Huh? Go for it. Lick away. Treat yourself. Oh, <laughs> this is a trap. You're trying to trick me. Nobody ever says yes. What's your angle, huh? Hidden cameras? Are you trying to expose me? I, I, I don't care. Licking isn't a crime. I checked. I don't care. I've got a mask. Oh, that tasted horrible. Are you oh. saying the taste of my mask isn't good enough for Mr. Fancy over here? The voodoo bar. Another day, another case. My client, the voodoo bar, has engaged me to deliver a cease and desist to another bar that is blatantly copying them. The voodoo guitar. Oh, I see. Okay. What's this? Oh, that's what... Okay, we've got the cease and desist here. All right. Hello there. Are you the owner? Who's asking? Oh, my name is Cuddles Nutterbutter. I'm <laughs> Nutter here to serve you. <laughs> Don't need no loo waiters. Thanks. Uh, serve you papers, I mean. I I'm a private investigator. <laughs> what sort of PI work is delivering papers? Shouldn't you be out investigating? Yes, well, bit of a dry stretch right now, if I'm honest, and this pays the bills. Happens more than you'd think. <laughs> I'll show me a badge then. Of course. It's right. Oh, uh, where did. Uh, actually, actually, you know what? I forgot. Badges are being discontinued. So, don't worry about it. Ms. Ms. None of your business. Miss Business, then. I, I have a few questions for you. Um. You have a sign outside your bar. It says, we're the voodoo place that don't serve no cursed margaritas. <sighs> Care to explain? Means we don't got no cursed margaritas? 
Firstly, that hasn't cleared anything up. Secondly, it's slander. It's true! No cursed drinks in here! That's our guarantee! The voo- the, the guitar guarantee, yeah! You obviously just made that up. More to the point, there are no cursed drinks in my client's bar either. What even is a cursed margarita? Uh, instead of lime juice? It's got the souls of the damned. Ms. Business, my clients do not <laughs> add business. condemned souls to their drinks, as I think you well know. Yeah, but like, how can we be sure? They don't have a sign. That's not... What? <laughs> that, 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 that doesn't even... Well, I, I don't see any guitars in here, so your, your whole name is a lie. Clearly ripped off my client's entire concept and just picked a word that rhymes with bar. Guitar's a state of mind, though, isn't it? Uh, the voodoo guitar is totally different from all other voodoo-themed outlets. Yeah, if you ignore all the bits that are identical. Uh-huh. 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 Uh -huh. It feels weird talking to that mask. Can you take it off, please? Yeah, I can't do that. Our clients expect it. It calms them. If you're attracting the sort of clientele for whom that mask is calming, you need to work on your marketing. Listen, this is a tough city, okay? There's cats out there working hard to put food on the table, and they come here to relax, and the mask helps. When they leave, I hear them breathe sighs of relief. They're probably <laughs> just glad they got through another visit here without being set on fire. Hardly anyone has been set on fire at the Voodoo Hardly Guitar anyone. <laughs> we got a certificate. <laughs> That's funny. Um, There's a whole lot of fire around here. Seems pretty unsafe, especially given you sell quite a lot of alcohol. <laughs> you gotta have fire. It's for the ambiance. The ambiance of catching on fire. Customers know the risks. We make it clear when you enter. No, you don't. Don't? It's pitch black. There's a whole lot of very loud, unnecessarily dramatic music, and fire keeps exploding everywhere, and one wrong step, and your customers will be a cat kebab. See? You know the risks. Proves my points. <laughs> um... I have a cease and desist from the voodoo bar. If you don't comply, my clients will see you in court where, inter alia, you will have to sit in some very uncomfortable chairs in a room with too little air conditioning. It is not a party. Big words don't impress me. Show me the papers. Oh, fine, I will. Here are the papers. I trust this settles the matter. Have your name changed within the week or we'll see you in court. Well, not me. I don't go to court, but someone will. And I bet they'll be mean. What if I say I won't accept the papers? That's not up to you. Here. No, no. All right, fine. I, you you want to be difficult? I'll give the papers to another employee. Like this fine fellow oh. right here. He seems reasonable. That ain't an employee. That's a cat kiss. He's got a name tag, though. That'll hold up in court. Hello there, Spikey. You've been served. If I have to come back here to serve more papers to the voodoo mandolin or the voodoo sitar or any other sort of mystical instrument, you'll wish you only had fake rats to worry <laughs> about. Squeak. Oh. Okay. Welcome back, sir. You did it. How did it go? Oh, fine, fine, you know, served them the papers, argued about who copied whom, walked into a huge cat kiss, you know, the usual. <laughs> I did, though, almost get uh, fried by a fire cannon at some point, so that was exciting. <gasps> a fire cannon? Indoors? That's very unsafe. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> Not that they cared, but anyway, it's done. 
Another citizen in need helped by Nutter Butter Investigations. Inform the media. <laughs> Open the champagne. Oh, well. I really hope something bigger comes along soon, That's Tabby. That's a pretty big you know, office. I'm being wasted on these tadpole cases. I tell you, there's a full-sized toad of a case out there somewhere with my name on it. <laughs> I'm sure of it. <laughs> a toad named Cuddles? Well, until that hops along, I have a surprise that should cheer you up. Surprises? I love those. Tabby, man, have I ever told you that your timing is perfect? I could really use a pick-me-up right now. I thought you might. <laughs> oh, it's waiting in your office. Go on in and I'll be there shortly. I'm just expecting a delivery. The voice the acting's best, really good in to. this. I love it. I know, sir. I love it very much. Tabs. Hamster. Oh, it's nice. Oh, look. What's this say? There's some writing on this. That's some really high grade writing paper. I would have just used a napkin. Oh, but what if I then needed that napkin? <laughs> well played, Professor. What's it say? What's it say on the note? To whom it may concern. I am currently out of the country on a research trip. If you need to contact me, please contact the Dean of the Department of Biology of Fernandine University or phone me at this number. Mouse, shell, bell, bunny, bathtub. Uh, cool. All right. Ooh, pretzels. Nice. All right. Tabby's desk. Tabby. Okay, let's go to the office. Where are you hiding, sneaky little surprise? Cuddles is gonna find ya. Ooh, he's gonna find ya. Yes, he is. That looks so pretty and neatly wrapped. Sure would be a shame if someone were to rip it apart with his claws. Again, it's a huge office. Like, you can't be that hard up. Can we... A brand new diary recorder, as seen on TV, with up to 12 hours of recording time, two playback speeds, and a waterproof casing. <laughs> oh, let's try this out. Dear diary recorder, hi there, I'm Cuddles, your new best friend. <laughs> first things first, I can't just call you diary recorder, you need a proper name, or people will think I'm really weird for talking to you all the time. Hmm... <sighs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I used to know a good listener named Ramon. Yeah, and he was on television too, like you. Oh, so, Ramon. Ramon, my assistant Tabby has gifted you to me. I'm pretty sure I know why. She suggested the other day that I need to keep better records of my cases. Well, she actually said that real detectives don't just slap sticky notes on everything to remember critical details. I'm not sure I agree. I actually think the sticky yellow notes on everything system was a huge success. But she went to the effort of buying you from me, so I think we can compromise. I'll record myself with you from now on, and hopefully she'll stop bringing up the time she accidentally ate a sticky note that I put on her sandwich. Cuddles! Sir? Professor Huggy's delivery is here! Uh, I'll, I'll be oh, out in a second. Professor Just Huggies. um, grab it for me, would ya? That's Tabby now. Kind of new, but determined to make a difference. We get along well. Okay, all done. Oh, that's nice. Enjoying your new diary recorder, sir? I love it. Thanks, Tabster. My pleasure, sir. Office lunches are safe once more. Oh, whiskers. There goes the phone. Hello? Okay. <gasps> Oh, good evening, Chief. Oh. Yes, he just fit. Oh, um, yes, of course. Please hold. Sir, I've got the chief of police on the line. He says it's urgent. Oh, he always says that. It was even urgent when they needed an extra person for the interdepartmental volleyball game last week. I got sand in so many places. Ask him to phone back tomorrow, Tabby. Yes, sir, but you were just saying you wanted bigger cases, right? I think this one might be pretty big. Yeah, it's, he's 
red cucumber? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Language. Tabby? Whiskers. I I've never heard him curse before. <laughs> Something must be up. All right. I guess I'd better take this. Patching him through, sir. Oh, dear. Oh, not about her. Hello? Evening, Chief. How's things at Police HQ tonight? Man, in fact, we've got a real cucumber of a situation on our hands. That's some pretty strong huh? language, Chief. How can I help? I just got word of a situation downtown. There's been some sort of disturbance at the Nitty Kitty Club. Not clear yet what happened exactly. <gasps> what the Nitty Kitty get Club? Get down there and investigate. Okay. That name rings a bell. Uh, Isn't it owned by a think... mob boss or something? Not a mob boss. The mob boss. Bartholomew Montemu, arguably the most powerful criminal in the city. It's, uh, it's his sleazy castle, in respect. The place where his piles of dirty money get clean. Ooh, sleazy money. My favorite. If I find any of those piles, oh, can I keep them? Oh, you comedian, not a butter. You should be more worried <laughs> about leaving with both legs unbroken. Oh. Any additional uh -oh. details on okay. what What's actually happened? happened? One of my guys caught wind of something over the tap phone. Unclear. Whatever it was, it's got Montemu in a tiz. Mm. I got a call right after saying Bartholomew is booked a flight home from a holiday trip overseas. We've got a very small window of time before he lands. Probably kicks us all out. My guys have bullied their way in for now. That's where you come in, Nutter Butter. I told my officers to play it very cool. I do not want to kick off a war with the Montemus. You're a neutral party. You can go places and ask questions we can. Got it? Yes, sir. If it's such a tense okay. situation, why get involved at all? If someone's making trouble for mobsters, I say, let them at it. Not a butter. Don't make me regret calling you second about this. Second? Who do you call first? Wait, was it that hack Alfonso? Uh -oh. You know he lost his own car keys for nine uh -oh. months once, right? <clears throat> oh, he couldn't solve a case if the perp was tied to his collar. Pay attention, Nutter Butter. I called you because your success was <laughs> actually pretty good. And I will deny that if asked by anyone else. You hear? And, uh, because Alfonso is out of the country. I knew it. Focus. Whatever's going down at the nitty kit, <laughs> chances are it involves a rival mob. If we're really unlucky, it's the Catulets. That's why my people are staying at pause length on this. Ooh, the catch They'll help as much as they can, but you're mostly on your own. The repercussions of the police picking a side in what might be the opening salvo of a mob war. Well, I'd rather not think about it. Probably involves declawing machines and barrels of acid. If it comes to that, I'd rather it be you than one of my guys. I'm not sure you understand. Oh, Chief, that's so. Uh, it's well, very nice. Actually, that's pretty awful. Did you. Did you say declawing machine? Well, I'll fax over the documents. I need you on this, Nutter Butter. Don't let me down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I, I mean, how many paws are we talking about here? Like, how many paws are they going through to need a machine to... Do they keep them? Is is there a room somewhere just filled with claws? Uh, good night, Cuddles. <laughs> uh, good night, Chief. I can't get over it. Good night, Chief. Well? We've got oh, ourselves a big one, again. Tabby. Safety of the city, lives in the balance sort of thing. Cancel my appointments and get yourself plenty of coffee. I have a feeling it's going to be a busy night. I'm going to head straight to the decline club to see what we've got. The, the what? Oh, did I say decline club? <laughs> That's certainly not preying on my mind or anything. <laughs> I meant the Nitty <laughs> Kitty Club. Well, we don't take midnight appointments, so nothing to cancel there. And I'm already ahead of you with the coffee. 
Did you say the Nitty Kitty Club? Where all the criminals hang out? Not all of them, Tabby. I'm sure some hang out in the dark alleyways and large empty warehouses down at the docks and such. It doesn't matter. This is really going to put me, er, us, <laughs> on the map. We'll be big time in no time. Oh, yes, that's very exciting, sir. But those mobsters, from what I've read in the news, they're real mean. Keep an eye on your back out there, all right? I don't want to see your face on the television tomorrow under the title Missing, Presumed, Chopped Up, and Thrown into the River. You better be standing right here in front of me. Don't worry, Tabs. I'll be sure to come back in one piece. Aww. We both know this place wouldn't be the same without me. Well, true, but that's not quite what I meant. You've forgotten to pay me this week. Again. But I just realized <laughs> you don't need all your limbs to sign a check. Ask the nice scary mobsters to go for the legs first, will ya? Ah, oh, whiskers. I'm, I'm really sorry, Tabster. I promise this is the last time. Uh, my new buddy here, uh, Ramon, <laughs> he's gonna make sure I don't forget things anymore. Say hi, Ramon. Hi, Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you named the recorder. <laughs> well, <sighs> as long as it works. Okay. Okay. The nerve yes. center of the operation. What would I do without it? Well, work on the floor, I guess. Anything else? Oh, a collection of tomes, volumes, research, and encyclopedias please. that I've built up over many years. Such fascinating things to be learned here. Can I use the disc? All that do? Oh, oh ooh, my half brother okay. Matrick and I. He's a good boy. Who's yeah, this? A little flighty. Loves dashing off to strange countries to go exploring. Oh, that's nice. I have been meaning to start my epic drawing of uh, myself valiantly fighting off a zombie horde, but now might not be the time. Doodling helps me concentrate when I've got a particularly okay. tricky problem to solve. It's a drawer. I keep important things inside it, like blue tack, my whiskey. Whiskey. Oh, oh Let wow. Me just move this piece of paper. This could come in handy. It's empty. No okay. point opening it. Okay. <laughs> She's got post it notes on his Be brain. Strong cuddles. Not. Billy the Brandy decanter will still be here when you're done. Okay. Alright. I think that's all I can look at here. Let's go out. Um... Tabby is my assistant. She's the only reason I'm still in business. What a nice thing to say without directly addressing me, sir. <laughs> uh, hey, Tabs, let's have the real chat. How you doing? You know, talk to me. Are you doing well, Tabby? Thank you, sir. So kind of you to ask. I am. How's the case coming along? Oh, investigations are ongoing. <laughs> That's what the cops would say, right? <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Tabby. Okay. I thought I had a package out here. That's why I was like, um, coming out here. Anyway, travel to city. Let's go see the city. Ooh, and we've got a map. So this is our office. And this is the kitty cat, uh, kitty, nitty kitty club. Oh my God. <laughs> The nitty Citizen, kitty club. There it is. please do not approach any closer. Oh my. This is a crime scene. 
That means you, Cuddles. There he stood, like a fat, round traffic cone, heedlessly impeding everyone's normal flow. Kukowski. When cops talk about throwing the book at someone, it's his book, they mean. He knew all the rules. Every single mm -hmm. one. Whiskers, he probably invented half of them, and he'd make sure they were followed to the letter, or else you'd never hear the end of it. Okay. Hey, Richard. Let's talk to What's him. the sit rep? Firstly, the as I am on duty, I require you to drop the informalities. Please refer to me as Detective Krakowski. Secondly, sit rep is a law enforcement term, Cuddles. You are not authorized to employ it. The situation is that I've been assigned to guard the premises. Now, please step back or I will be forced to make you step back. With force. Forcibly. I'm here on business, actually. Oh. The chief called me in himself. So if you'll just let me pass, I'll get out of your fur, and we can both get on with our jobs. Not so fast. Do you have a PI badge and a permit? Without those two things, you won't take a single step further. Badge? Permit? Are you being serious? Krakowski, you know who I am. I've been at like 10 crime scenes with you before. You hit me right in the face with a volleyball last week. Really hurt. Don't try and cozy up to me, Cuddles. Rules are rules. Nobody goes inside without a private investigator badge and an official permit P54851. I am an officer of the law. If I do not follow the rules, then the very fabric of society would collapse. The entire city would be plunged into a nightmare of crime uh -huh. from which we might never escape. So, it's my duty to be the moral backbone of this city. Therefore, I'll ask you again. Do you have the correct items? Yes. I mean, no. Well, okay, so don't say no uh, immediately. No paperwork, no entry, Cuddles. I left them at the office, all right? I was a bit distracted by something the chief said about declawing machines. But come on, don't be such a stick in the mud, Krakowski. We're friends, right? Good acquaintances, maybe? Distant colleagues? <laughs> you see this uniform, Cuddles? This means that I'm on duty. I am not your familiar acquaintance when I'm on duty. I am the only bastion against the forces of darkness seeking duty. to overwhelm this city with their, duty, their duty, duty, darkness. Duty, duty, duty. And you see that lack of badge on you? That means you're currently just a civilian I impeding the enforcement the of justice. Office. Move along, citizen. Fine. Okay. Goodbye, uh, Krakowski. I'm keeping my nose on you. Okay. Oh, wait, hang on. Can we go to the other way? Maybe we can, we can like, <laughs> like are we stepping <laughs> sideways and going that way? Okay. This used liquor store. Gotta get my paws dirty if I hope to get anywhere. Yikes. A bag full of gears. Well, that doesn't look like trash. I'll grab that. And an old shoe with a name on it. Larry. Oh dear. Larry lost his boot. Uh, maybe I can return it to him. Second worst time I've fallen into trash. Wait. No, yeah. Second. Alright, let's go back. See if we can find we're back so um, soon? Our badge Did the villains stuff. hear you were on the case and instantly hand themselves in? Oh, haha, ha, very funny. You know what isn't funny? Officer Krakowski? The sourpuss wouldn't let me into the crime scene. He's just doing his job. 
You know how much he loves the pageantry of it all. Yeah, well, he could take a day off now and then. He's seen me countless times before. I shouldn't need to prove anything that stupid. Oh, you forgot your private investigator badge again, didn't you? That's the third time this week. Not true. Only the second. Uh-huh. What about Monday? I had to go down to the police station myself to hand in those papers when they wouldn't let you file them due to lack of identification. Uh, all right, three times. Four, oh, if you damn. count the time you came back for it, then left again after forgetting why you were here. It's a very forgettable item, all right? <laughs> but where is it? Look, I get excited when a job comes <sighs> up. I can't be expected to keep track of a little badge when my mind is in overdrive, forming plans to foil criminals, save the city. Do you have any idea where I left it? Knowing you, it's probably in your office somewhere. Krakowski is just doing his job, you know. Same as you. Don't let it frazzle your whiskers. They're not frazzled. Just uh, singed. Okay. You know, Krakowski okay. also mentioned a permit. Uh, is that even what a about real the permit thing, too? or is he just pulling my tail? It is for some cases. Did the chief mention one? I, I think so. I was a little distracted by the declawing comments. Hmm. Edna hasn't sent it yet, then. I'll just give her a call and check. Oh, I can do that. Edna and I get along really well. Are you certain? Edna Honeybottom, the secretary at the police station, with the big hair? That's her. We've got this cute thing we do where we, we dance around the fact that we'd be kind of great together. You and... <laughs> wow, that's quite an image. But if you insist, sir, the number is Bird, Snowflake, Mouse, Bell, Shell. Got it. Shell. Mouse, uh, Bell, Shell. Bell. Well. Dog. No, no, sir. Here, I'll write it down for you. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye, Tabitha. Okay, now where's our badge? Oh, cushion. Hey, my detective badge is under this cushion. There we go. Okay, pick it up. How'd you end up there, you sneaky little thing? <laughs> Back into my pocket with you. Okay. Now, let's go use the telephone to get a permit. Okay, so, okay. So what is the... So it's bird, snowflake, mouse, bell, seashell. Lift the headset, bird. then dial. I don't like to brag, but... I... Oh. Bird, snowflake, m mouse, shell. Bird, snowflake, mouse. Oh, bell shell. Okay. Bird. Snowflake, mouse, bell shell. Snowflake, mouse, bell. Hello. Shell. Hey, Edna. It's me, Cuddles. How are you? Horrible. Oh, no. Uh, what happened? You phoned me. <laughs> so listen, I'm following up on some documents I need for a case. The one at the Nitty Kitty Club. I need them to get in. Krakowski's being Krakowski, and you know how he is. Irritating and tiresome? Yes, yes, exactly. I meant you. <laughs> you got me again. Oh. So can you fax the paper? <laughs> No, I do all my faxing in the morning. Oh, uh, I, I kind of really need them now. Kr Krukowski won't let me into the crime scene without them, and the chief said it's a really important case. So. Fine. Thank you, Edna. Whatever. Hi, Constable Prangipane. Whatever. I to talk to you. Oh, 
Oh, that was nice. A nice telephone conversation. How lovely. Alright, we can... Can we get them... Yes. Uh, that takes care of the permit. Yes, I don't need this posted anymore. Oh, okay. All right, let's go to the Nitty Kitty Club. Behold okay. and the we fact can permit of power. Permit no? Okay, all right. I found the things you wanted. It was really hard. I hope you're grateful. Hmm, well, you both seem to check out. It was Pleased that hard. to meet you, P.I. Nutterbutter. I actually expected you a while ago. What with the severity of the situation? What? I was. I, j I stood just. <clears throat> Krakowski. I swear. The corpse is cooling, Cuddles. The crime scene awaits you. <sighs> At least I can get to work. Wait now that you'll actually out. let me. The law thanks you. <laughs> the law is a... A what, citizen? Uh, lovely. The law is, uh, lovely. <laughs> Delighted <laughs> to hear lovely. it. Lovely. Oh, and uh, the law is one more thing, Cuddles. I'll be keeping that permit. Don't want you... <laughs> persuading your way into any other places you shouldn't be now, do we? Ramon, I'm in. The club looks deserted, though. Ooh, the only patrons in gentlemen. here tonight are wearing blue and carrying guns. Cuddles! <laughs> Finally! Where have you been? I've been waiting here for ages. A huge oil tanker of a police cat hovered near the entranceway, his eyes darting between the door and an even larger cat standing <laughs> behind the bar. As soon as he saw me, his shoulders sagged in relief and he hurried over. His voice unnecessarily loud. I think if I make eye contact with that bar cat one more time, he might try to eat me. Sorry, Detective. You can ask the nitpicky officer guarding the door why I'm late. He didn't want to let me in. Oh, yes? <laughs> Out of spite, no doubt. I'm sure you didn't, uh, say, you know, forget your badge again. He obviously knows who I am by now. He's just choosing to be annoying. <laughs> this isn't just another case, Cuddles. We're on a Montemu home turf. And badges are not. That puts us on the back paw. Krakowski and I are here because we thought we might catch the Montemus doing something that they would, you know, would let us lock a couple of them up. But it's worse than that. Much worse. Oh, no. Edgar Montemu. Oh, no. Bartholomew's son is dead. Moited. Oh, well, Moited. Cucumbers. Well, not only Moited. that, but that oh, star, dear. Miss Kitty, Language. Has mysteriously and coincidentally vanished. Language. Mystery and coincidence. Huh. In my experience, you only get to pick one. Okay. So Tell me what, what I need to know. Happened exactly. All I know is so far is that Tinkle the Barracat. You can't miss him. He, he looks like uh, someone stuck legs and arms into a mountain. He opened the club up for the evening, as usual, and found the body. Needless to say, it wasn't there when he closed the night before. And you guys heard about it through the tapped phone when he called his boss. Well, I heard something. It's a low-quality tap. The chief saw an opportunity, and we headed right over. As soon as I got in, though, I realized it was way worse than we expected. And I called the chief on the house phone. He told me to do nothing and wait for a P.I. And here I am. At last. Hmm. Hey, where's the body? It's on the other side of the room, near the stage. I'll show you when we're done yakking. 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 You finished a preliminary investigation? Yeah. Dead mobsters, kid. Oh, terribly sad. End of story. That's oh, okay. As soon as I learned who it was, I gave the chief a call. He said he'd send a P.I. I was expecting Alfonso. That hack? But you'll do. Uh, gee, thanks. 
couldn't you uh, at least get all the staff together? Start asking some questions. Listen carefully, Cuddles. Right now, this is a mess. And that's what I want it to stay. A mess. Not a mob war. Not with dead cats turning up in the river every morning and police being attacked in the streets. The chief told me to be paws off. And I'm happy to comply. So, okay. no. I didn't assemble the staff. Don my monocle. Point at things with my cane while yelling, Aha! The telltale mark of the count to guilty. I left that for you. You're being awfully callous tonight, detective. A cat is dead. No, Cuddles. A Montemu is dead. <laughs> There's a big difference. You don't know them like I do. Montemus are rotten and dangerous. I've seen firsthand the trouble they can cause in this city. One less of them around doesn't bother me. Perhaps he wasn't a good cat, but I still don't think he deserved to be murdered. There's that immutable sense of justice of yours again. I respect you, Cuddles. But you have to learn when to say he had it coming, especially in this city. In any case, the investigation is in your paws now. Rakowski and I are here until we get the crime scene photos for documentation. And then we're heading right back to HQ. I won't let you guys down. Some promises are easier to make before you realize how deep the muck goes, Cuddles. Mm. But thanks. Okay. All right. Okay, Time to see the unpleasantness. Follow me and holster your tongue, please. Hilarious. You know, if I ever find out who started the rumor that I lick everything, I'm going <laughs> to give them a piece of my mind. Well... Surely you mean lick their face repeatedly? You dirty, you licker. dirty licker. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh dear, let's talk to this guy. In school, the textbook said the old saber-tooth cats were much bigger than cats are today. I never had a good idea of how large they meant. Straining my neck to look up at the monstrous bar cat before me. He seems the same size as the other guy. I just hoped he wasn't hungry. <laughs> good evening, Mr. Uh, Tinkle, is it? Yes. My name's Cuddles Nutterbutter. I'm investigating Edgar's death. I have a few questions, if you don't mind. Tinkle minds. Oh, hey, uh, me. I ask, uh... But boss gets it, answer all their stupid questions. So Tinkle does. Already talked to annoying fat police cat. Now waiting to talk to you. Annoying small police cat. I'm, I'm not with the police, but I appreciate it. I'll try not to take up too much of your valuable time. Uh, <laughs> Tinkle spent two weeks in shipping container to get to Meow Meow Farrington. For company, has only ten cages of uh, barking squirrels, you say? Yes, in pallet of evaporated uh, milk. By end of two weeks, Tinkle has become numb from their endless noises and has finished milk. Uh, okay. You are like Barking Squirrel. Yep, 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 yep. <sighs> Tinkle already bored. You ask question now. Okay. Can you tell me what happened here? <laughs> Tinkle kicked right out lost customers early in morning, went home, ate dinner, fell asleep. Come back in afternoon, opened up. Found Edgar like collapsed mannequin, cold boss cat. Then Kitty's blue friend shows up. Oh, succinct. <laughs> uh, was Edgar here last night? Ah, Tinkle was surprised to see him, but has not been here for a long while, not since Gondrap. Tinkle thought he may have given up on family, but he was here and he seemed um, happy. He did not speak to Tinkle, but he talked to others in club, then left alive. Gumdrop? Mm -hmm. Friend of Edgar, he is not for living anymore. Okay. Do Pepe and Miss Cremiston often stay late? No. Pepe lives in basement. He's always here like bad dream. 
and dancing kitty stays light in room, spends all night touching up wrinkles with special fancier makeup. Tickle once tried some of them. Not impressed. Oh, come now, your fur is positively glowing, and such, uh, such pores. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, does she sleep here like Pepe, the, the dancing kitty, I mean? Tinkle does not know, or care. Pepe has keys to all doors in club except boss cat, elevator, office, uh, office elevator. And Dancing Kitty has key for uh, the back door. Both come and go whenever. Dancing Kitty is sometimes here very late. If she has a uh, extra special client. Extra? Special. Hmm. Did you and Edgar okay. get along? I think I'll never spat on Boss Cat's son. I, I'm sure he appreciated that. So you weren't friends? Edgar was fine. Tingle was not his friend, but he's fine. Why didn't you like him? Tingle is not here for to make friends. Tingle's boss is big boss cat, not little rich brat cat. It is sad he is dead, but this is Meow Meow Farrington's city of shark. Bite, bite, bite. Always biting. Some cats die. You mean oh. get killed? Dies, whatever. <laughs> Dies, whatever. Uh, Dancing Kitty, uh, Platty, is missing. A any idea where she might be? Uh, at home, or in the room, or at Porky Pete's. Tinkle has no answers. He is not paid for to babysit. Do you have any information that might help me track her down? Da, Tinkle can tell you she is not behind bar. Thank you, ah. thank you, thank you, thank you. That really eliminated <laughs> Kitty, options. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank, you thank, you, thank 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 you. You look really look strong. Like you work out a lot. Do you got any tips? I've tried lifting weights, but mm. nothing gets stronger except my desire to not lift weights again. Weights? Pah. Lifting is for kittens and invalids. And kitten invalids. In his home, Tinkle did not lift weights for exercise. He crashed. Tinkle was crushing champion in home city for two years in a row. Crushing his best workout for biggest, strongest muscles is better than this smooshing, huh? Yeah, you know, huh? Or bashing. It's for children. It's for small people who've muscle which is very small and cannot grow big like Tinkle. There's a competition for crushing things. What do you crush? Uh, metal cans, large rocks. Abandoned cars, how you say, uh, hope. Wow, you take it seriously, huh? Da. Before <laughs> Tinkle gets a job at Nitty Kitty, he was judge of many Meow Meow Farrington talent search shows. He crushed many dreams. He's excellent trainer. Does <laughs> Meow Meow Farrington have talent? Uh, not anymore. Tinkle was very thorough. things can you crush, Tinky? Everything. Big hard things and small hard things. Also, average size hard things. And uh, if I have soft things, can you, I don't know, smush them into... Never. Tinkle is proud crusher for life. Did someone tell Kitty that Tinkle is a smusher? Is lies. <laughs> no bashing for Tinkle. No smushing. Only crash. Only crush. Only okay, crush. Okay, got it, got it. Only, uh, I like only crush. He's great. Uh, wow, you are scary. I like him. When you All came right. in this morning, was there anything that caught your eye apart from Edgar? Anything suspicious, I mean. Tinkle sees nothing strange, but he did feel something. Uh, Babushka Kazvania said there are spirits. They are restless. She said they could feel something bad happen last night. Wait, what? Y you brought your grandmother here? Yet, foolish kitty. Tinkle would never bring family here. The food is bad. And dancing kitty sings like barking squirrel with a, uh, you say, uh, throat infection. Plus, Babushka is how you say, um, a dead. Um, uh, I think you misunderstand that word. Um, dead is not alive. Uh, gone to the big scratching post in the sky, that sort of thing. Tinkle know what he said. 
Babushka Kozvanya passed away a long time ago. Now she speaks to Tinkle from beyond. In life, she is powerful medium. In afterlife, still. She speaks to other spirits to tell Tinkle what they say. But only to Tinkle. Tinkle is her link. Tinkle is small. Are you sure? You definitely look like an extra large. You are ignorant. Like this whole city. You know of cats that speak to the dead, yes? They are mediums. Tinkle speak to dead Babushka only. And she speak to other spirit for him. So Tinkle is not medium, but is uh, one step away. Tinkle is small. I am learning so much tonight. <laughs> Uh, okay, Don't that's enough anywhere. of that. I might have more questions later. Alright, let's look at this body. Step away from the body, Cuddles. I can't let you anywhere near it for the time being. We need a photographer to capture the scene, just in case the Monomuse accuse us of anything. Gosh, okay. he's so young. He barely looks older than me. Yeah, well, he didn't stand a chance with a mobster for a father. How old is he supposed to be? Why can't I investigate the body? I'm here, you're here, it'll be done in no time. We can't take shortcuts tonight, Cuddles. You need to wait for the crime scene photographer to get here. How long will that take? As long as it takes. Not helpful, Fuzzball. What if I draw a really accurate diagram uh, uh, on a napkin? <laughs> Won't that look good in court? Why, yes, Your Honor. I have the crime scene picture <laughs> right here. As you can see, the butternut-shaped blob with seven limbs representing the moita victim is just next to the stage. <laughs> Please ignore the ketchup stain, and that's not representative of anything. The answer is no, Cuddles. You can defile the body as much as you want, once we have photos. But until then, I don't want you to touch even a hair. You got it? You used to be cool, to? Samuel. Yeah, I used to weigh half as much. Times change, Cuddles. Feel free to interview the staff and look around the place. I'll let you know when the photographer gets here. Okay. okay. Never mind. Yeah, so, uh, give me the rundown on the pecs we got. Pecs? Uh, short for suspects. Saves time. Does it? Well, not now, because I've had to explain what it means, and that's taken a lot more. Just tell me about the other cats. Well, most of the staff showed up for their shifts, so you got a few options. Uh, there's the behemoth behind the bar, Mr. Tinkle. Just talk slow and don't make any sudden moves. The janitor downstairs might have some insights. Staff like that often overhear things. Bartholomew himself isn't back yet. But I suspect he'll make sure you know when he is. And okay. uh, if you can find the main show cat, Miss Kitty, you can question her too. Okay. You mentioned a performer who's missing. Yep, Platy Cremiston. Stage name, Miss Desiree Kitty. She was performing early this morning. Well, according to Mount Orange over there at the bar, but didn't show up for work when the club opened. Or since. So that's pretty suspicious. Hmm. Have you looked around for her at all? Nope. I left all the fun tasks for you, bestest buddy. Start mm -hmm. with her dressing room. Maybe she left some indication of where she went. That's a good idea. Okay. I'm not that familiar with the Montemus. Is there like a file or something I could read? No need. I can fill you in. Okay. You said he was the son of a mobster, right? Yep. This is Edgar Montemu, son of Bartholomew, the head <laughs> of the Montemu crime his name, family. His this name is, is Bartholomew Montemu. <laughs> murdered in his father's own club. If there's anywhere you'd have expected him to be safe. Was he involved in the same stuff as his father? <laughs> More than likely, yeah. Well, they are a crime family, not a crime father with innocent children. Chances are he knew all about it and was up to his ears in the thick of it. Mm. 
Okay. Did Edgar have any known enemies? I wish I could tell you. I know which brand of Furios Bartholomew likes for breakfast, but the file on Edgar isn't even a page long. He's not cropped up on our radar much. The chief mentioned the Catulets. Could they be responsible? I mean, rival crime family and all? Maybe, but why? Starting a mob war now. Are there star-crossed in lovers interest? involved with the, the names? Calm. Well, as calm as it ever gets. The Montemus haven't given any indication they were planning to make a power play. Things are good right now, if you're a criminal. Okay. I all right, that's I all. Better get back to work. Okay, let's go look backstage. And I'm assuming we can use this elevator. Okay, here is some papers. Ooh. That's enough outfits to put on a school play, as long as the theme was overdressing. Okay. Funny how you only ever see people in clothes like that okay. in a club like this, or uh, at a music concert, I guess. Depends on what kind of band you're into. I don't know. Okay. I mean, I would look incredible. In <laughs> doesn't look to be my size. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, this is. Uh, I don't need that. Mirror? Okay. There's a mirror. note on here. Desiree, stop borrowing my feather boas and get your own. Oh, Kitty has claws. Ooh, okay. I don't need that. Okay. What else? Ooh, the boa. This door is super locked, ultra locked, locked extreme. Oh dear, okay. Tastes and smells <laughs> perfumed. Fancy. Fancy, okay. Let's see what else, what can we look at? Oh, not much. Okay, let's have a look. Let's look Seems at like this. Seems like Miss Kitty punched in, but not out. Oh, okay. So she might still be here. I have to get my own card before I can do that. Oh, I hope it never comes to that. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, alright. Okay, so... That's fine. We'll go over here. Can we ask the big fella if he's got... Oh, maybe the janitor has keys. It looks locked out. There's a card reader on the side, though. Oh, I see. Okay, let's have a look through the place. Can I talk with him? Is he going uh, okay, to... Don't go on. Okay. Can I... Go this way, travel to shortcut. Oh. oh. So what have we got in my bag? Hmm. Got a bag of components. A Larry's boot. Okay. Well we can't go up here. Oh, travel to basement. Here we go. Well, that did something, but what exactly? It feels so warm. Wait, did it just move? I can't use that. Can I lick it? it tastes a bit sweaty. Okay. Um. I wonder what this controls. Okay. Making it didn't change anything. Huh. Oh wait, what's what's going on here? No, nothing. Okay. <sighs> um. Still not sure what this does, but it does something. Okay. What if? Oh! 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 Oh!
Oh. Okay. So it does it um use still not sure what this does, but Okay, yeah, yeah. Bad kitty. Do not touch peanuts. Boska's club is business, not charity. Okay. Okay. Okay, don't go anywhere. Um. Oh, maybe stay. No. Clue? Hard to say. Yeah, it's not that close to the body. That is one giant footprint. Whoa! Don't lick the huge footprint cuddles. Don't you remember <laughs> what happened at the dinosaur park? Well, don't make it an option then. I won't be able to get an imprint on this soft carpet. Maybe it'll turn out to be important. I'd better take it just in case. Okay. If I do it real quick, I reckon he could, um, if I like. Still. Using his natural stealth and months of experience borrowing sweets from his assistant's desk, the P.I. swipes a gigantic peanut from right under the nose of the terrifying Crusher Cat. Okay, cool. Um... That's all? That just takes me up there. I don't know what the peanuts did. Do I have any light sources? I'll pop in my magic night vision contact lenses and get a nice close up view of whatever that is. <laughs> All right. This piece of blackness is especially black. Okay, I can't see anything. I get it. I get it. It's fine. Ah, there we go. Oh! Oh, why? Who are you? <laughs> are you screaming at me? I'm Pepe, and you screamed at me. Oh, I got a fright. No, oh, dear. I got a fright. I turn on the light and you're just lurking there in the dark, all creepy-like. Why didn't you say something sooner? I wasn't sure who you were, my cat. I thought you might be a mousy minion of the thems. Or even the thems themselves. The thems? What are the thems? Yeah, my cat. The thems. They yeah, my cat. They see. Ooh. They observe. Completely undetectable, but everywhere. Listening in with their secret microphones while their squeaky experiments run amok. Wow, there's a whole lot going on there, but to pick up on one point, if they're undetectable, how do you know they're there? My cat, that's exactly the sort of question that makes the thems come for you. I know because they steal my mail. People send me mail all the time. But I don't get any of it! And as if that wasn't enough, they steal my robot friends too! Wow, All right. this is gonna be a fascinating conversation. As my <laughs> panicked breathing slowed, I got a chance to look at the strange cat who'd startled me. He had some kind of bizarrely shaped hat on, and his eyes darted around like they were chasing invisible mice. When he wasn't speaking, his lips still moved like he was murmuring things to himself. I wondered where this is gonna lead. If anywhere. Okay. Uh, I'm 
here to investigate the death of Edgar Montemue, and I have a few questions for you. Yeah, my cat. I know exactly what happened. You do? That's fantastic. Uh, what happened? Well, my cat, it, it went down like this. I, I was cleaning up like I always do, sweeping and wiping and making things shine. You gotta make it look good for the big boss, you know? I just finished collecting all the hidden microphones that the thems planted in the club recently, and came back down here to dispose of them when I heard some thumping upstairs. So I go to peek out. And? And there he was, my cat! Big as a, a, a big thing! Thumping along, arms swinging, massive head sweeping back and forth, looking for new victims with those horrible dead eyes of his. Ugh. Who? Cat, don't you listen? Mosilla! I saw him, clear as whiskers on my face. He was here, and he must have killed that cat right before he stole his face. You saw him? Mousezilla, I mean, with Edgar's body? I saw the whiskered monstrosity, yeah, but that's all I remember for sure. I got such a fright I fainted. Didn't see anything else until I woke up at the bottom of the stairs. I was real shaken, my cat, <laughs> I'll tell you that. I just calmed down when I heard noises at the door. I thought Mousezilla was coming to finish the job. So I turned the lights off, and I kept very still. I have so many more questions. <laughs> okay. I couldn't help but admire your very uh, unique hat. Uh, uh, what hat? The one on your head? That's not a hat, my cat. Does it look like a hat? Well, kind of. Uh, yes, in every possible way. If it's not a hat, what is it? It's a symbol, my cat, of the truth. Hats cover you. They protect you. This does the opposite. It, it pro unprotects you. It uncovers your mind so you can see what's been right in front of you all your life. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> it ain't a globe. It's a pyramid. I like his uh, onesie. Pyramid? The, the world is pyramid shaped? You got it. We live on a giant pyramid. Well, that's... A sentence. Uh, first question, it are sure we is. right on the tip of it? If so, surely we'd slide down the sides? The cat tapped the side of his nose with a knowing look and smirked at me as if he'd avoided a clever trap. You won't get our secrets that easily, my cat. You gotta become a paid member of the Pyramid Society first. Pyramid Society? That's it, my cat. Become a proud pyramid head. We spread the truth of the nature of our reality defeating the nefarious schemes of the them through pyramidal truths. Do you no. want to join as member number two? You'll be second in command. Gosh, you she know, normally I would, I would, but I just signed up for an art. Absolutely, I would. I would love to. Maybe. See. So. It's all right, my cat. I'll be here when you're ready. Truth can be scary. You're scary. Um, Can you tell me anything about Edgar before he was killed? I mean, well, I know that Bartholomew loved him a lot. Enough that I don't think he realized that his son hadn't turned out much like him. Care to elaborate? I like working for Bartholomew. And yeah, I know what he does. He's still a good boss. But Edgar, I gave him a pamphlet once, my cat. He stood still for a long time reading it. I thought he was going to get it, but he finished it and tore it up in front of me told me to stop Aww. wasting time on that trash and spend more time cleaning up the real trash. So I'm guessing you were not a fan. Once I finish cleaning up the mess he made out there, I'm not going to think about him ever again, my cat. Oh, okay. So when I was feeling around in the darkness, <laughs> I in for a lick. Yep. it's just that licking is how I make sense of the world sometimes, you know, and... <sighs> yep. I, I mean, it'll dry up soon, I'm sure. And you taste great. Uh, um, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I just mean that if I had to lick a stranger in pitch blackness <laughs> again, um, I'd pick you. My oh, ear is still so damp. I am so, 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 so sorry. <laughs> What was that? Uh, uh, oh, uh, about getting rid of hidden microphones. Yep. 
The Dems put them everywhere. When I clean up, I help the boss out. Get rid of them all. Chuck them right in the trash bin out back. And I hope they okay. like listening to rats. Um, oh, that's the thing I got. Hidden, how do you know what um. they look like? The cat pointed a finger at his nose and took a deep sniff. The nose knows, my cat. I can sniff them out. Can always smell a secret listening device. That's why the thems ain't got me yet. Yep, that's definitely why. Plus, some of them make a noise. You hear a weird noise somewhere? It's probably a secret microphone. Sure as sugar. Not perhaps just an ordinary noise made by, oh, dozens of common items? Nope. Secret microphone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, should I... about the identity of the thems? What branch of government are they from? What? Don't talk crazy now, my cat. They're not from the government. The government is doing an admirable job under difficult and complex fiscal conditions both domestically and abroad and should be applauded for their stable and progressive policies. I feel there's going to be a very different follow-up. It's those cubists who are stealing our thoughts and trying to control our actions. The nutcases who think the world is a cube! Their denial of pyramid truths is why Mousilla was able to escape their labs and unleashed upon the poor citizens of Meow Meow Furrington. You don't want them knowing that you know about them, though. Not everyone has the right thought-repelling headgear. Plus, you gotta take it off when you shower. So just call them the thems. They can't decode that with their cube magic. Ha <laughs> ha! I... wow. Sorry, did you say cubists? Yep! A bunch of insane squares who think the world is a cube, not a pyramid. Can you believe it? I like calling Weirdos. them squares because I know they don't like it. <laughs> They've had it in for my pyramid society for ages. They're afraid of my truth. So your pyramid society has a rival society of cubitarians who, who say the world is a cube and they're plotting your de demise. Cubists. Yep. Yeah. But yes, six-sided crazies, a lot of them. If you ever meet some, I suggest you just walk away. Believe me, it's crossed my mind a few times now. Okay. Um... You're saying Edgar was killed by Mousezilla. Mousezilla isn't real. You know, he's just an urban legend. A giant mouse that roams the city at night, hunting cats. Come on. He ain't no legend, my cat. The killer mouse is very real, and he stalks the streets of the city, exacting his revenge on the citizens for the evils of those who made him. He was here, and if he didn't prefer his victims awake, he would have kidnapped me. He was made by whom? By the thems. The thems. The secret watchers. The controllers, my cat. Those who lurk in the shadows and stretch their tentacles into every pie. Stretch their... T right. Okay. Just to summarize where we are. You're saying that a secret cabal of dessert-loving cephalopods created a gigantic mouse driven by vengeance. And by <laughs> face jealousy! And that. Yep, yeah, sure. And uh, they unleashed it on the city. Not unleashed! It escaped! Their in feline experiments finally proved too much for him. And with his monstrous strength... He broke free of their secret underground experimentation lab, mad with pain and an unnatural desire to, to... To... To kill a single solitary cat in a club run by the most dangerous crime boss in the city. You're getting it, my cat. This is just the beginning. Soon, Mozilla will be a name nobody will forget. Mm, I kind of uh -huh. wish I could forget this conversation. No. Oh, okay. Talk later. All right, bye. What have we got? All right. Hey, what are you doing? I want to polish this key. Gosh, little key, how'd you get so dirty? You need a good washing. The key looks fine to me. Leave it alone. All right, look, I'm investigating, and I think I need this. No, you don't. I'll have you know, there are two police cats upstairs. I'll call them down here if I have to. Go for it. I've been defending against the forces of cubic disorder for years. Do you think a few police cats bother me? Fine, you called my bluff on that, but I, I still need it. No! That's the skeleton key for the whole car. Ah! The big boss will have my fur for a bedspread if I let you take that. 
Why is it just sitting out in the open then? So I can keep an eye on it. Putting things in drawers is exactly what the thems want you to do. Okay. Well, this piece of paper says proposal to replace circular manhole covers with pyramids. So I'll just leave that there. Red thread between random papers. Always a good sign. Okay. What else is there? Oh, couch. Oh, I hope he doesn't live down here, Ramon. But I fear I already know the answer. Dear. Oh, printing press. A printing press? What is this doing here? This thing doesn't seem to be operational. It looks almost brand new, though. Oh, here's a panel I can open. Oh, I can use the coin? Hey, this coin fits perfectly into the screw. Uh, this might work. Mm -hmm. That's done it. I know what I'm about. Aha, that wasn't too tricky. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. We've got some components here. If there's anywhere these components would fit, it's in there. Maybe these okay. components can be moved around. Okay, so. Okay. Maybe here? That seems right. And then here? And here? Um, yeah. How do I check if it's worked? I think that's it. I think that's how it works. That must be the on switch for the printing press. Okay. I think that's done it. Let's turn it on and see. What was that? Is this a printer or a cannon? Yeah. Just call me Cuddles the Mechanic. Cuddles <laughs> Butter, Mechanic at Large. What? Ooh. Why? I thought you were a private investigator. I am a private investigator. I just mean, th never mind. Your printing press is fixed, by the way, but it wasn't broken accidentally. Someone definitely sabotaged it. I knew it. It was the Dems for sure. But now, thanks to you, I can get back to printing my pamphlets. All right. What's this though? Some sort of manual for a machine. Oh. Perhaps for the printing press. Oh, we can use that for the thing outside. Eight nine five two five. Okay. No. Eight nine five two five four. I think that was for outside. Can I? Oh wow! That awesome-looking key definitely opens like a treasure chest or something. It's on that special cushion. I just and everything. need it. I've got to have it. I think it. Can I take? I can see you out of the corner of my eye. Leave that key alone, or I'll make Tinkle Fine. You. Fine. Ugh. Okay. Oh, I wonder if, um, if I turn the light off. Yeah. 
Uh, uh, where, where'd the lights go? Zoink! Okay, bye. <laughs> well, that worked. Good. Okay, now. Now. When we look in the dressing room. Look in the dressing room. They use the key with the dressing room. Bingo. There we go. A key. Who would have thought? That's what a key does. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Here we are. This is very messy. Oh, there's shoes everywhere. Mirrors. Makeup area. It's like a very sexy mad scientist's lab. I, I better not touch mm -hmm. anything in case it explodes and gets sexy all over me. Oh dear, I don't want that. A menagerie of sprays, ointments, and whatever's in that jar. Is that jam? That's... Oh, can we lick it? No. Do you want glitter it. tongue cuddles? Because that's how you get glitter tongue. Maybe? Uh, uh, let's look at the various well, chests. Look, a whole bunch of unremarkable chests. Okay, can we open them? Oh, a bunch of can They're locked, them? but I don't care what's in there. Okay. Oh, there's a colorful chest. Ramon, there's a lot of stuff in here, but no missing cat. Maybe she left some clues in one of these chests. Oh, hey, I think that's a good place to leave it. Oh, how exciting. How exciting. So that was Nine Nor Lives. Um, I enjoyed that. That was very good. The The atmosphere, the, the puzzles were very good, not too um, head scratchy in the beginning. And the voice acting was superb and the story is interesting and intriguing and the art style is really good. I really enjoyed that game. So if you want to um, to play it yourself, uh, the link will be in my description. And I hope you enjoyed um, uh, playing that with me. Uh, I might play more. I don't know whether it's on uh, the channel or on, on Twitch. I don't know. But that's it for me for, for now. And I hope you enjoyed Nor Nine Lives. That was a, um, a showcase for the Indie Game Collective. And you can grab a copy of it on Steam. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.